Hello, this is Kenshin1913, and this is my 200 subscriber video special. I'm gonna start this Let's Play Dragon Quest Swords. That's right, for my 200 subscriber special, Dragon Quest Swords is my next LP. I was planning on doing it anyways, I'll just start it early. <clears throat> now, I will only be doing this game, I'll be uploading this game once every other day until Taloon and Castlevania are all done and then I will upload it once every day but yeah that's uh, basically what I'm gonna be doing um, yeah just to start off this is the first game I've been doing I'm gonna do with narration with actual voice actors and things as such and my philosophy with that is uh, to keep my trap shut while they're talking because that's why they got voice actors so that I don't have to read and here you see the various cast of characters in Dragon Quest. S-Words! Yeah, so we're going to start this game. It's going to be pretty good. So let's, let's create a new adventure log. And, of course, we're going to name him Kenshin, which is the way of the sword, or soul of the sword, or some of the sword. I know that from Rioni Kenshin, I believe. So, yeah. In the beginning, this can be kind of hard with the uh, Wiimote, but we'll get it down. And I am left-handed, so let's do this. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool story. I like this game a lot kind of short, but it's alright. First person, I'll show you. When I first saw the mask, I remember only that I found it so frightening. But from where did this memory come? Ooh. Already five years had passed since the defeat of Xyphos, the bringer of death. Bringer of death. The world was at peace. But for me, that had little meaning. Aww. So yeah, that was, uh... Avalonia was holding a fete to celebrate its fifth year of liberty. That's a friend, that's some French chick we'll meet eventually. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll meet her. She's some French, though. They got cool accents in this game, and pretty cool yeah loading times are yeah. I mean what are you gonna do it's a CD based game but they got some awesome music cool graphics I believe they use the um, Dragon Quest 8 engine and the winner is Swordmaster Down Swordmaster Down <laughs> oh yeah The passage of time has not doubt my blade or my skills. That guy's got a nice mustache. Others, no more young heroes willing to challenge an old man? Hmm, I don't know. Come on, there's gotta be somebody. Aha! Oh. You there, the son of my accomplished pupil, Claymore, I believe. Ooh, Claymore. So, are you ready to try your hand against your father's master? Cool, blimey! Cool, blimey! Right from Swordmaster Dow himself! He's only got a challenge, Claymore, son! Claymore, being one of the famous warriors... And that's Claymore in the back the there. The in the jeans. And what's more... Was a pupil of Swordmaster Dow, too! No way! God, only knows what kind of match we're in for here! Oh, man! Oh, core blimey! So, yeah. I have been speaking with your father. Tomorrow will be your 16th birthday. So, I guess I'm that red headed stud. When the young man of our land comes of age, he must undertake the walk. Walk. It is tradition. Of the worthy. You must focus your mind and spirit on the ways of the 
song now. Come, I will instruct you. Let's fight. So basically, they're gonna go over battle mechanics. Yeah, let's just do this. Yeah, basically, you know, you can swing the Wii remote, Wii remote, whatever. You know, and then also you can kind of like click on the, the a focal point if you want, and then swing the hell away. There's three different kinds of strikes: diagonal, uh, no, four: diagonal, vertical, horizontal, and then a thrust. And see, they're showing you, but you can't do like. You can't go like that. You can't go like in a in an arc. It doesn't work. It's gotta be a straight line, as they're telling you. So they want you to slash vertically. Basically, this is the tutorial. You know, usual stuff in the beginning of a game, and then something a little more difficult, diagonal. I'm not a fan of uh, targeting an area and then attacking it. I'll just swing like hell. That's that's usually my style of play, and uh, that's that's the way I roll. And now you can also use your shield, which, as you can see, that's a leather shield I've got there. And they can use magic, and basically you block with you can blo you can only block the red ones. Later we'll find about ones that you can whack back at your enemy, and then counter with a strike of your own. So now he's gonna attack me. Might as well hold the shield up, dazed, and then you slash at him. That's how you do it. It's kind of the gist of battle right there. Yes, you are strong. You are well centered. You may even possess the inner tranquility required to execute the masterstroke technique. Master I taught your father really? long ago. Do you wish to try? Hell yeah, I'll try a master stroke. That sounds actually kind of dirty. But whatever. I'm gonna learn this cool thing. Now, if only you could really see me do this in real life, it'd probably be hilarious. I really get into this when I'm playing it. Because this was like one of the first sword games I've ever gotten. So we gotta hit the two, and it brings up our Master Stroke. Or our, yeah, Master Stroke. So now we click on Mighty Strike. And then you gotta, you gotta do what they, they gotta, you gotta do what they tell you to do. So thrust your sword into the sky! Mighty strike! And then slashing. You know, we only have a certain amount of time to do that, so. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. You can really get animated with this game when you're playing it like real life. I found that I was doing that quite a bit. Ah! <laughs> tiger father begets tiger son. You have inherited your father's command of the blade. Since Claymore lost his arm, he is no longer able to wield a sword. But you, the kingdom My dad of lost his arm? will be fortunate indeed to count you amongst its warriors. <laughs> oh man. Here ends the royal festival of swordsmanship, commemorating the fifth anniversary of the defeat of Cyphus the Deathbringer! Yeah, whew, is right, Oxman. Alright, so yeah, here now they show you how to walk and everything. This is like a first person kind of thing. You can move the cursor on the people and talk to them, or you can like move it around. So yeah, let's talk to these people here. These guards are pretty cool. I like how they got like cool facial animations and expressions for for everything. It's pretty cool. And so we're gonna be doing the walk of the worthy, huh? You will be my new pupil. Oh, it should be fun, Dow. And oh yeah, let me show you how this works. So basically, you go to items. You got you, you your items, the bag of items. And then basically your tempering items, which you can make new swords with later on. And then you can fill pockets. Here's my equipment. Right now I got a copper sword, leather shield, wayfarer's clothes, leather helmet, and finally, what is this? Uh, ring of bravery. Yeah, 
does stuff. Anyways, now you can look at our stats. And eventually when we get party members. You can see that I got a mighty one sh mighty strike here. You got your settings, display, you know, blah blah blah. Handiness if you want to change it, audio settings. Yeah, there's some volume that'll come out of the Wii remote when you're walking, but you won't be able to hear it due to the fact that I can't record that. Oh crikey! Oh no, wrong one. Blow crimey! Oh, who's that? There's my pump. Claymore. You looked good out there, lad. Aye, that you did. Aye, that you did. Anyways, we'll have to talk to Claymore more in the next episode. This has been Kenshin1913 saying see you later. Bye-bye.